You paid how much? Seven pound ninety nine. Kachin. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be looking at eight amazing Antiques Roadshow items found in charity shops. I think maybe four to six hundred pounds. Oh, okay. So I did do well though. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Yes, for this list, we'll be looking at those lucky antiquers who struck gold in the humblest of places. Number 8. Tableaus Why on earth anyone would donate such a stunning item as this, we don't know. So is this fantastic thing yours? No, I volunteer for the Samaritans in Ipswich. Either way, the Ipswich Samaritans couldn't believe their eyes when this gorgeous item was donated by a local family. Expert Ronnie Archer Morgan identified the item as being from Spain in the early 18th century. This is the heavenly host. Thrones, powers, cherubim, seraphim. Adorned with pills, this piece depicts angels, saints, cherubs and demons in incredible detail. This is where you descend into Hades. If anything, it's shocking that this piece was only valued at one to two thousand pounds, but still not bad for a charity shop. Number seven, cityscape painting. I think the more you look at it, the more interesting it gets. Paintings are commonplace in the world of Antiques Roadshow, and every now and then guests hit the jackpot at thrift shops. Trusting her gut instinct, this would-be collector decided to buy this cityscape for just eight pounds. And why wouldn't you? It's stunning! What she didn't know, though, was that it was actually painted by Paco Garaspe. So there was a time when retail, these pictures would have commanded thousands of pounds. This artist was known to many as the Picasso of the Philippines during his lifetime. Rupert Maas went on to explain that this piece could easily fetch 600 pounds. Not an outrageous price compared to some of those that will follow, but still a tidy sum. So I did do well then. <laughs> yeah, you did really well. <laughs> Number 6. Bram Stoker Book Is another thing to keep an eye out for in your local store. Old books. This copy of Bram Stoker's The Mystery of the Sea was handed into this guest's charity shop years ago, and seeing it priced at one pound, she kept it for herself. There's also a slight issue with it, which is it's not quite a first edition. As it turns out, this was from the book's third impression from the same year it was originally published in 1902. As such, it was valued at a respectable £200. On the other hand, if this was a copy of Bram Stoker's most famous book, Dracula, it could have been worth up to £20,000. So keep your eyes peeled, collectors. That's good. Better than a pound in a charity shop. Number 5. Scottish Landscape Inflation is pretty rough these days, and you don't find things quite as cheap as you used to. Even so, this guest spent a whopping £25 at a local charity shop on this piece on her way home from a Scotland holiday. When she brought it onto the show, she discovered this little investment was well worth it. I mean, I just think that's an amazing piece of luck. Mm. It turns out the piece was by Scottish artist John Cunningham, and it portrays the Ardnamurkin Peninsula in the Highlands. Expert Grant Ford ended up valuing the piece at a stunning £6,000. Not bad for something that had been hanging around in her home for 10 years. Oh, wow. Number 4. Ancient Item This humble little pot had absolutely no place being in a charity shop. Brought onto the show after being bought for a pound, this guest soon learned that this piece dated back all the way to 200 BC. That's over 2,000 years old. The, the decoration on yeah. it, the burning, which could indicate it was like a, an apothecary piece. It was also said to be of Roman origin. It may surprise you, though, that despite its incredible legacy, it was only valued at 100 to 200 pounds. Regardless, the expert encouraged her to take it to a museum to get a better understanding of the relic. And, and you say you paid a, a pound. pound. <laughs> Number 3. Picture Frame An easy life hack to get a frame for your favourite poster is to head down to the charity shop and buy something the same size, then throw away the picture already in it. But you might not want to be so hasty to chuck out the original picture. 
and we just really like it. And the more it's hang on the wall, we've sort of fallen in love with it, haven't we, really? When this guest wanted a frame for his ACDC poster, he ended up bagging himself an abstract painting with far more than the four pounds he spent on it. It turns out it was painted by Henry Cliff, a British abstract painter from the 20th century. With that knowledge in mind, this painting that was almost thrown away turned into a possible 800 to 1,200 pound profit for the owner. Fabulous. It's good. Yeah. So better than the ACDC poster? Yeah. Or do you have that Maybe as well? Yeah. Number two, ruby and diamond ring. Well, I bought it in a local charity shop and it was with the costume jewellery. How much did it cost? It cost me a pound. This item caused quite a stir with the Antiques Roadshow audience. This ring was bought for a measly pound. That's already quite the steal for a ring this magnificent. As it turns out, it travelled a long way to get to that little charity shop. Expert John Benjamin believed it to have come from Agra, India, being made around 200 years ago and estimated it to be worth £2,000. In other words, this is a mogul yes. ring that somehow it's found its way over from somewhere near the Taj Mahal over to the charity shop here. Yeah. This Mughal ring led to much debate online as to whether the show should have mentioned that it obviously came into possession via the British Empire. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Yeah. It's an absolute pleasure. Number one, Ming Vase. What did you like about that? But this is not I like. This one just uh, naturally I found from a charity shop. You really have to question the amazing journeys some items must have made to appear on Antiques Roadshow. When one man brought this intricate looking vase onto the show, they immediately had to call in an expert. An expert on Chinese ceramics, as it turned out this particular item was from the Ming Dynasty. With that or lovely orange tinge where the yeah. glaze meets the body, okay. that to me suggests that it is Ming dynasty. Me? It turns out the piece bought from a charity shop for only £8 was actually worth between five and £10,000. The finder could not believe what he was hearing from this valuation, and neither could we. You've got a good eye. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.